I do start the video in the town's retail area off of the main highway on the west side of town. If you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. If you enjoy this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos with amazing insights on other places like what you see here can be found in my Illinois playlist, my Metro East playlist, or in my St. Louis suburbs playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. To the right here is Columbia High School, home of the Eagles. Let me speed up this video here real quick. Watch this guy walk really fast. All right, there we go. Among the most notable alumni is Josh Fleming, who pitches for the Tampa Bay Rays. You also have several other baseball guys who attended school here who have played in the league, including TJ Matthews, who pitched for the Cardinals, the Athletics, and the Astros over a seven-year career from 1995 to 2002. Looks like the Eagles have a pretty sweet looking football field. Columbia is about a 15 minute drive south from downtown St. Louis. If you saw my previously uploaded video on Waterloo, Illinois, Columbia is in the same county, that being Monroe County, however it's closer to the core of the St. Louis metro area. Both Columbia and Waterloo share a lot of the same traits, as both have seen continuous population growth, and Monroe County is one of the few counties in all of Illinois to see an estimated population gain since 2010. In Columbia, the median household income is $98,000 per year, and 48% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher. The median value of owner-occupied housing units is $217,000, and the poverty rate is 6%. Niche.com ranks the public schools here as an A-, and the crime rates are below average. The one thing that Waterloo has on Columbia is history, as Waterloo was founded prior to Columbia, and Waterloo is also the county seat of Monroe County. In my opinion, Waterloo has a slightly better downtown than Columbia. Both towns have a small town feel though, so don't feel like I'm saying that Waterloo is the Vegas Strip or anything. It just seemed like Waterloo had a few more selections of establishments to choose from when you're looking for a night out on the town. With Columbia, the town was laid out in 1820, however it's noted to be founded in 1859 and it's located on the bluffs that overlook an area of the Mississippi River floodplain that's known as the American Bottom. Just like with Waterloo, German immigrants settled in Columbia starting in the 1830s and you'll see a strong German influence on the architecture in town just like you did with Waterloo. Columbia wasn't incorporated as a city until 1927. The most interesting thing perhaps is that Columbia is located in a region that is thought to have seen humans as far back as 12,000 years. Earth mounds have been spotted throughout the areas along the Mississippi River in Illinois, leading historians to believe that an ancient city existed here called Cahokia long before St. Louis was ever built. Since I casually passed it, I'll mention it I suppose. To the right is Eagle View Elementary School.
And here is downtown Columbia. Looks pretty nice for a small town and you can definitely see the German influence of architecture. There's a lot of Colombia that I didn't get to, obviously, and if you're used to watching my other videos, you probably expected to see more than just the high school and the main street. This is due to me trying to make up some time from when I had to wait for some rain to pass while filming my previous video in Waterloo. Something had to give. I had a long list of towns to visit on this particular day and wanted to make sure that I visited all of them. Columbia really is a nice suburb of St. Louis. Along with Waterloo, both towns are some of the few nice ones in the Metro East region, which overall is a pretty depressed area, and you'll see that if you check out my Metro East playlist. Columbia has quite a few newer residential subdivisions within the city limits, and it's not a bad choice to look here if you're looking to move to the St. Louis area, and for whatever reason, you're wanting to be on the Illinois side. The one thing that Columbia has on Waterloo is that Columbia is about 5-10 to 10 minutes closer to any amenity that you might be looking for in the St. Louis metro area, whether that be downtown St. Louis or any type of shopping. Uh, you really should do a better job of checking the weather before you go. Given how easy that is in this day and age, there's no excuse for not knowing that it was going to rain. Uh, yeah, I did check the weather, and it said that there was a 0% chance of rain for the St. Louis area all day that day. That was the second time that I tried visiting this area when the weather forecast predicted nice, sunny weather, and then it turned out to not be that, but it did for the rest of the day, just not in that particular time slot in the morning. But since you're so good at knowing what the weather will be, maybe you should start your own weather prediction website. Good luck with that, troll. I do end the video at Balm Schoolcraft Memorial Park, I believe I said that name right, but it seems like a nice little park and a gathering spot. If you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos with amazing insights on other places like what you see here can be found in my Metro East playlist, my St. Louis Suburbs playlist, or in my Illinois playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. We'll see you next time. Peace!